Okay, let's let's talk about this final tutorial that you have there. Okay, so I'm not going into details. This tutorial is up to you. This is the classical hammock body. See that what you have here. So here you have some one alcohol of this mesh. Okay, so see that in this case I have control. I know very well the geometry and see that I can write I can write manually, I can create manually this file to add this that that mesh refinement. And I want to remind you the importance of doing the geometry. So exactly this this domain that you see here corresponds to this geometry that I did in in block mesh. So see that I know precisely my coordinates of my external domain. You have that refinement ring unit. And then is the one you can go also to the body and you can get those precise points in that surface. Okay. So that's why it's very important doing also your geometry. So here you can extract your coordinates, you can do your you, you can adjust your black mesh dictionary, snap snappy X mesh to add these refinement regions, or you can export the STLs. It's up to you. Okay. So basically here in this link, okay, I'm not going to explain this video. Uh, here you have our YouTube channel, but this link corresponds to the playlist of this tutorial okay this is a long playlist okay there are and actually just let me copy and open it so there are like six or or seven videos okay corresponding to this playlist and let me go here and put it here Okay, that you can follow later. Okay, so this is a complementary tutorial. So the tutorial was done with Open Phone 7 or 8, if I recall, but n much haven't changed for what it's when it comes to, to meshing and probably you see some differences. I hope you can find what are the errors we have addressed that the output of, of Open Phone. Okay, so you have there. You can follow, you can enjoy that. And I want to mention that in this case and all the previous cases, the Snappy X Mesh Dictionary and Black Mesh Dictionary are very clean and ready to use. So you can use it as your templates. So you need to get lost in all options, okay, in Black Mesh or Snappy X Mesh. So here we have it parametrical. So just change the co coordinates and the, the X, the, the Y, and the Z. And then when it comes to a Snappy X Mesh, you just need to read geometries, set the feature edges and surface refinement, set region refinement. So this is castellation. Okay. So this is volumetric and surface. So just get that information, put the refinement. When it comes to the snapping, use the default, the recommended options. And then if you want to add the boundary layer, choose the surfaces and add your boundary layers. And we recommend to do it now in the way that you save your, your steps. That's all. Okay, uh, one final advice, and this is to all cases, not only to the um, body. Use your solid modeling tool or para from para view to get visual references. Okay, we have seen that we're using on shape, but you have seen also that you can do it in para view. Uh, also, I mentioned this a lot, and for the final time, well, still we have another video that I will show you a little bit something about this. Uh, instead of using large surface refinement values, it's better to have finer background meshes, okay? So do not use values larger than four because that is going to give you problems. It's going to use a lot of memory, it's going to be slow. We saw that in the pipe case. Okay, so better work in your background mesh. If you want to, to generate boundary layers, Okay, do it at the end using the restarting method. How I show you that is the best way. That is how how how, how I do it. Unless I am hundred percent sure that I'm going to get a good result, I always use this restarting method. Uh, so, if you're working with complicated geometries, uh, it's recommended to add one layer at a time. Okay, when it comes to the boundary layer, I didn't show that, but it can be done. Okay, instead of putting three or five or seven layers, put one, and then add another, and that can it works. It tends to work well, but it's a little bit time consuming. In the videos, in the playlist of the Amit body, I show that. Uh, always check your mesh quality. Okay, always. Doesn't matter if the geometry is super easy. Always check the mesh quality and the topology and as an exercise try to set up this case okay to run with a boundary condition of 
of the in the velocity of 30 meters per second. Okay, something that wrong with simple phone, no more than 300 iterations. Do not use turbulence models, okay, put it laminar. Use air standard properties, the viscosity is 1.5, 10 to the minus five, and monitor forces in the body, okay? So try to do that. So I already set up here the case. So you have it there in entry, you have here to do the mesh automatically, okay? So see, this is the mesh that you're, you're going to get, okay? So if you want to get, to have something different, it's up to you. So see here that I have it uniform in the AMET body surface, but then if you open your Snappy X mesh uh, dictionary, you will see that there are many image files. So you can play around Okay, so see that you have many STLs, so you can open each STL to see what is happening. Okay, so I decompose everything there. See here that you have access to different image files, and of particular interest is this H2. is the one I created manually. Okay, so let me go here, constant, three surface, and see that it's very easy to create coordinates and connectivity. So that image, image will correspond to this here. So when you do the geometry, you do, you know, since well, so you can do since manually. Okay. And that, and then here you have all the, you can play with different refinement levels, action, it's up to you. So, but at the end of the day, you are going to get, remember always the boundary file. So here is, this is the one that you will need to change, do some renaming. Okay. So probably this will be inlet, outlet, Probably this one will be ground, top, and this one will be front and back or side walls, or you can group everything. These two in a single patch is up to you. You can use create patch. And this is your AMET body, okay? Which is a wall. Probably you will put this one patch, patch, wall, the ground, and then the other three, you can put it symmetry that are walls with no slip. So it's up to you, try to set up the case and we can discuss this in the, in the Q&A session, okay? So that's all for this case. So, and also for the mesh with the snap, as you see, it's very long, okay? But it's very important getting the mesh, your solution, everything depends on your mesh. So thank you for your attention and bye.